What's going on everyone? This is Najlok the Mech Warrior and I am just gonna talk to you quickly for the new players about a few key points you should keep in mind when you're starting out in the game and a little couple little tips and tricks. So you're sitting here, you're, you've played a few games and uh, maybe you bought your first Arctic Cheetah and it's gray and green and zero experience across the board for everything and you're not sure what to do next. Well, here I am, I'm going to give you a few helpful hints, so just stick around. The first thing I want to talk about is key bindings, and this is kind of important, uh, especially when you are uh, doing your weapons groupings here. So, fire weapon grouping 1, you press your first mouse uh, button, which, uh, you know, should be the left mouse button, and then weapons grouping 2 is second mouse button. But after that, it gets a little funky if you go to the default. And Weapons Grouping 3, if you have a gaming mouse, will be one of your side buttons. I've actually changed that to be the uh, mouse wheel button that you can push in. So all my first three weapons groupings are now my top three mouse buttons. And I can hit them with my, you know, first three fingers on my hand. And that is very, very useful. My two side buttons now become four and five or 5 and 4 in this case, as you can see, weapons grouping 4 is mouse 5, and weapons grouping 5 is mouse 4. So that will allow you, if you have a gaming mouse with 5 or more buttons, to have all of your we almost all of your weapons groupings on your mouse. And you won't have to screw with numbers on your keyboard while you're trying to pilot your mech or anything like that. So that is very important. It's very nice. Trust me on this one. You'll want to get it, get a, take a look at that. At the very least, if you have a you know a potato mouse, you should still have a mouse wheel, and you should still be able to do that mouse three button. So that you, at at the very least, you should be able to fire your first three weapons groupings with your top three mouse buttons. On moving on with that, is your zoom in and out. I have also changed that to be the mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down button as well. And obviously, same same idea applies, although hitting Z is not as difficult when you're uh, in-game. It is still just so much easier to do it on the mouse, I find. So you'll definitely want to do that as well. So that is tip number one. Look at your key bindings. Change them up for your mouse and in, on your weapons groupings there. And you'll have a much easier time. The second point I want to bring up for new mech warriors is do the tutorial. I know this might sound pretty brain dead, but it is very true. Because going through the tutorial, you do little, little things like even just shooting the captain. You'll get 100 bonus sea bills. You'll get money just from doing the tutorial, but you'll get these little bonuses as well. Getting killed by the captain, 100 sea bills, basic tutorial completion. 2.5 million C bills. That's enough for a new mech. Yeah, a really tiny one, but it's enough for a new mech, right? Shiny brass backside, you know, complete the introduction. That's another 500,000 C bills. And then if you get all the pilot challenges within the tutorials as well, you'll get 500 each. So that's one, two, three, four. That is another 2 million C bills plus 3 million is 5 million C bills that you can get just doing just doing that like it's it takes 30 minutes maybe so if you're brand new you don't really know what you're doing do the tutorial get shoot the captain then get killed by him and then finish it and you know what you'll you'll come out and you'll be able to afford a new mac it's really that simple to be honest like just do the do the tutorial get your cash learn the game that is one of the best tips you can give a new player so the next thing we're going to look at actually is uh, mechs and their engines because my recommendation don't sell them right you get you get your battle mechs here you you probably won't have nearly as many as me but you'll you know you'll you might run out i think i believe you get five uh mech base to start with when you start out and you can get a few more by doing certain challenges and things like that but you, you get your five mech bays, and you know what? It, it would be better to not sell your mechs because that is going to be five million C bills or whatever, let's say, on average, that you're just flushing down the drain because you're going you're gonna to pay out five million dollars and then you're only going to get a million back or 
a million sea bills back, right? So try not to do it. Try to avoid it. And, you know, try and keep your mechs. Same with the engines. This one, I can't stress enough. You're going to need d different engines for so many different uh, mech builds once you really start getting a lot of different mechs. Keep all your engines. If you strip an engine out of a mech, keep it. Don't sell it. I'm, I know it might be tempting, you know, some of these engines you can get almost a million C-bills. XL engines you can get two million, right? It's really tempting, but don't do it. Save them because you're going to need them for other mech builds later on. On that note, double heat sinks, keep them as well. Don't sell them, you know, keep them around. They're more expensive. You don't want to have to be chasing after them and buying them again later on. Standard heat sinks, you're going to get a lot of those, so you can probably go ahead and sell them once you get up to, you know, into the 20s and 30s. Go ahead and sell them. You're not going to be using them a whole lot. But yeah, that is my recommendation. Do not sell your mechs. Do not sell your engines. Make sure you keep them. Even if you don't like them at the time, you might end up regretting it later on and rebuying it because you figured something out. And do your research on when you're buying your mechs. That is another key point and another key takeaway here. Look up videos, check out builds, you know, there's a lot of information out there on different mechs. Do your research before you buy your mech and you won't have to sell any at all. There's a way out. The next thing we're going to take a quick look at is the skill trees. Alright, so you have several different types of skills, right? Most people are going to want to put into firepower because, you know, that's what they do. Survival is another good skill tree. Mobility, jump jets, most people don't use jump jets, but whatever. Operations, sensors, and auxiliary. So, what you are going to do, and this is how you use them. You plug it in, and then once uh, you plug it in, you're going to add SP, and then, from your experience, which you will have preferably mech experience you're gonna slide the slider over I'll just do it with my general experience so you get the idea slide the slider over to one hit OK hit OK again so we got range one and that one allocated one available and we are going to hit apply changes and boom that now my mech now has plus one percent range on all of its weapon systems that is great one thing i really 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 want to stress to you is to never ever ever hit the respec skill tree on any of your mechs because you once you uh max out your S sp on these guys and you hit that you lose 91 of those experience points that you just paid millions of c-bills to put into all these different skills right do not do that it's non-refundable what if you want to respec your mech all you have to do is click click unequip node and apply changes see just like that it no longer has the one percent and then you still have it saved and you can re-equip it with experience points later on it's that simple do not respect your skill tree please i'm begging you i'm well or do so if you really want to but believe me you, you'll regret it i did my first time and i'm never gonna do it again trust me so yeah that is a quick rundown of the skill tree here and that is the tips i can give you for that one last thing I wanted to take a look at before we wrap up this video is participating in events and buying MC slash mech base. Looking at it here, down in the newest patch, uh, we have this event scroller, which leads to this button over here to participate in special events and conflicts to earn additional rewards. You click on that button, you can see your active events and the recent events, and what you do is you click on the uh, one that you want to participate in, so let's say clan, uh, clan machine gun challenge or clan ballistic challenge, and you can see what kind of criteria you have to complete to get the uh, corresponding rewards. For this one, you'll get the light machine gun, the machine gun damage, and heavy machine gun, and then you'll get these rewards for getting it, which you unlock there. So. Participating in these events is pretty important because, as you can see, all you have to do is, you know, 
get uh, finish off the challenges, and they'll be different from event to event, right? So you, one one event may be about certain uh, certain chassis types or uh, certain weapons, you know, these uh, different sorts of things. And uh, you complete the criteria, and you get the rewards for it. Some of them can be really easy, and you get decent rewards. And after that, you get the rewards, and you'll get some more money from that, and it will be all good. Usually, you'll get some cockpit items. You could get, uh, you can get colors. You can get mech bays. Like, there's all sorts of different re rewards that you can get from these events. So, it's def it definitely behooves you to uh, participate in these events and uh, make sure you get them done as many as you can as possible. Anyways. The next thing I wanted to quickly touch on is the MC. Yes, I know you're probably not going to want to dump a lot of money into this right away or whatever. That's true. But when you do, or when you decide to, I recommend buying a little bit of MC. Maybe like the $5.99 uh, pack when it goes on sale. Usually once a month or so, they'll go on sale for... Uh, you'll get 20% more for the same price, which is not a bad deal. And you can turn that around, and when the mech bays go on sale for half off, they'll be 150 MC. You can turn around 599 and dump it into a bunch of mech bays that you can use later on. Or, as you can see here, oh, sorry, let's just go here. You can also get hero mechs, which will give you a 30% C-bill bonus for half off when they go on sale too. So, getting the MC... It's not mandatory, that's true, but get it when it's on sale, and then use it when the things you want are on sale, to get the stretch it out, get the most bang for your buck, right? Especially when you're thinking about mech bays, because they'll, they'll go on sale for half off, for 150, you have, uh, you know, a thousand MC or whatever, stock up on 10 mech bays, that's, it's really that easy to be honest and there there you have 10 more mechs to play with and you you paid maybe you know four dollars three dollars for it so yeah that is how we get the most out of our mc and you get the most out of the events those are some more beginner tips for you to kind of abide by kind of look out for when you're playing mech warrior online this has been Najlok the Mech Warrior with a few starting tips and tricks for the new guys out there who are just getting into Mech Warrior Online. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and hopefully see you on the battlefield soon. If you have any further questions or anything else, my name is right there, Najlok, and you can sure as heck hit me up on here and ask away, or even play with me. I don't mind having new friends to play with. So, hope you enjoyed the video. This is me, signing off.